Hello Blender users and grease pencil artists. Here is a demo of my onion peel add-on. It's an alternative onion skinning system that adds some specific functionalities for 2D artists. I'll start the demo with this little rolling ball example. You can see the onion peel panel located in the G pencil tab. And it's a different system than the native onion skin. Uh, actually, when you enable the onion peel, it uh, disables the onion skin that you find here. Uh, you can enable it either by hitting the enable and start moving in the timeline. It's refreshing at every frame change. Or you can hit the refresh button that will do a first refresh and then enable the whole thing. Now to disable, you can either click the delete button here you can see that it has toggled off this button or you can simply untick this button and once you move in the timeline to refresh again on the frame change it's updating the filter is exactly the same as the native onion skin it's allowed to filter on specific keyframe for example here only on the blue keys the breakdown with this field you can change the color of the peels like you can do with the native onion skin system and here you can change the amount of peels you want to display. Now in this onion skinning, every ghost of the drawing is leveled as a peel. Every peel has an individual settings. You can hide, show the peel, you can uh, change the opacity and you can also uh, make a transform on the peel. That is the most interesting and uh, re-edit this transformation, uh, use the GRS uh, key like you, you're used to in a normal transform. Also X to make a mirror on the uh, X axis and Shift X to flip vertically. You have the control label here and escape to cancel the transformation or enter to valid. You can also click this button here to reset the peel. If you want to have uh, quickly a fade along the peels, you can just click this button. And if you want to bring them back to 100%, you can shift click on the button. This slider here is the general opacity, so it affects every peel. The custom transformation is useful when you want to use another frame as a reference. For example, here I want to use the first frame as a reference, but the head has moved. Uh, and I can just bump up the previous frame a bit and hide the in-between frames and here I'm going to use this one as a reference and that way I can draw the next thing here. The X-ray option is there in case you have object overlapping, for example here I put a cube in front and then if I hit the x-ray button you can see that uh, both the objects and is the related peels are going in front and you can toggle it off by clicking the off button. Now let's take a quick look at the wall space positioning feature. Here I quickly animated the whole grease pencil object with a two location rotation key and if I stop in the middle you can see that the peels are in a local space transformation of the objects and are not following uh, the ball in space but if you check the wall space transform here and move in the timeline to refresh you will see that now the peel are respecting the position in uh, wall space and that allows for better understanding of the movement if you are using uh, animation of the grease pencil object. I still want to mention that if you are not using animation of, um, on the object directly, you should disable the overall space as it costs a bit more performance. Also note that in the add-on preferences, there is an option here that you can enable. So the before and after color are set here at every file opening. And this way you don't have to uh, rematch every time the color you like here. The peel depth offset here is just in case you have a really thick lines and you see that the transparency of the peels are overlapping each other. You just have to bump uh, the value just a little uh, if the case happen and it's just moving the peel in, in the depth 
from the camera view so that the uh, overlapping problem of the transparency disappear. That covers everything in this 0.7 version of the onion peel add-on. I hope it can be useful for 2D animators out there. Now I wish you happy blending and see you in another video.